Okay, so this is this new 2048 template that I've been working on. It was a little bit tedious, but I think I got through everything that needs to be implemented. Uh, so right now, I've left three scenes. This is the main scene. I've left these markers here, simulate where the iPhone, this one's the five and above. This is the legacy, where they will lie. Um, and right now it's a universal build, so it should work for all three, should run pretty normal. Um, first I'll show you what it looks like. And there you have first a randomly spawned tile somewhere. Swiping to the right, everything moves over to the right. Swiping down, swiping to the left, swiping up, and so forth. As you can see, everything combines. I've left it to... Uh, give you the win screen at eight points right now but you can change that I'll show you how in a minute and of course you have the keep playing option or the restart option and uh, there's also a game over screen which will um, come up if you fill up the entire board with tiles it's gonna take quite a while for me to do that now so I'm not gonna show you that but take my word for it and um, more importantly I'll show you guys the code now I've tried to comment as much as I could, but um, basically you have these three actors right here, the tile, the background tile, the operation. This actor one here is just for those buttons on the two scenes. They really don't do anything but unpause the game. And these iPhone crop lines, again, they don't, they don't have any rules. They're just there to sort of show you where, um, just sort of so you can, if you're planting your scenes or your buttons or whatever, you can see where to place them so that they fit on all devices. Um, so I have the operations actor in the top left corner. That's this. And the other two are not even on the scene yet. They will be spawned through the operations. So uh, I've commented most of uh, the code here. So you shouldn't have really much problems with it. Basically what happens is our operations will spawn um, 16 background tiles, four rows of four columns, that's this actor right here. And all that is is just that nice uh, looking uh, sort of um, background for where the tiles will slide in, slide through in like your play area. And the last actor is of course the tile, that orange uh, square that you see there that moves around with the numbers on it. Uh, and the operation spawns that as well. Uh, each one of these tiles has a few rules that tells it how to move right, left, down, up, and so forth. That checks for um, whether they should overlap and so forth. And it's all pretty much in there. I've commented as best as I could. Um, and there's, of course, six tables. They're not really important. Like, one of them is empty, for example. Another one's just table with 1 through 16 and so forth I just need those uh, for um, for tracking where I can spawn my next tile so for example right there these two spots are not available to spawn now but once I move them they should go everything should collapse down here since it'll be a 4 and then any one of those other 15 tile spots will be legal so I'll show you that right now and basically that's done through those tables they track everything and they tell us where to where we can and can't spawn and the next value in row column and tiles in row column they track uh, how many tiles are in each row and column and uh, that's this one and this next value in row column just tracks while everything's sliding through whether it should overlap to the next tile or whether it should remain, uh, well, whether it should just go to the next tile beside it or two spots over or whatnot. For example, this tile, okay, I swipe uh, lightly to the left there. Um, if I'm swiping to the right now, these two move all the way. Now if I swipe to the right again, this one should overlap and add up with that one. That's tracked in that table I just showed you. And it's not really important to know how that works. Um, 
that's about everything. I've tested this on an iPad, so I can actually guarantee you that it'll work there. I'm pretty sure it should work on an iPhone as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Okay, thanks.